Suppose per capita income is $40, population is 433, and percent elderly is 15%. Calculate the upper and lower bounds of an approximate 95% confidence interval for the elasticity of demand. Then, calculate what the profit maximizing price would be if the elasticity took on each of these two values, assuming that the marginal cost is constant at $5. So usually we're asking about 95% confidence intervals for the log of quantity demanded or quantity demanded. Now we're asking about the elasticity of demand. So with log linear regression, know that the elasticity of demand is equal to the price coefficient. In this case, eta is equal to negative 3.5. The upper control limit will be the estimate plus two times its standard error. Usually when we're doing the log of quantity demanded, we'll do two times the root mean squared error. However, this time we're doing elasticity, so we get that 0.3 out of the standard error from the price coefficient. We can do this algebra and see that the upper control limit is equal to negative 2.9. Likewise, we can do the lower control limit now subtracting two times the standard error, and we find the lower control limit is equal to negative 4.1. Now that we have both of our two values for elasticity, and we know that the marginal cost is equal to $5, we can solve for what price should be if, el if elasticity took on these two values. So the price for the upper control limit of elasticity of demand would be 5, the marginal cost, times the negative 2.9 over 1 plus negative 2.9, or the price for the upper control limit of elasticity of demand is equal to 7.63. The price for the lower control limit of the elasticity of demand, we do the same thing except for now we use the negative 4.1 for the elasticity. And we find that the price for the lower control limit of the elasticity of demand is 6.61.